Hi, I'm Jamie with Iron Horse Trailers. This week we're going to talk about securing your trailer. Iron Horse has some unique features, and one of those is stabilizer bars. Uh, inside there's a lock pin. You drop that bar, put the lock pin back in. When we do that, it gives you counterbalance on the back so the front doesn't rear up. Also, there's one on both sides. You can load the trailer without having to have it attached to a tow vehicle. If we drop those, close the tailgate, and lock the tailgate, which is done, um, makes it almost impossible to pick the front of the trailer up. So if it's unhooked and somebody wanted to back to it and steal it, they'd have a really hard time getting it up on the trailer. Up front, we recommend a couple of locks. We have two here today. This is called a security coupler lock. It basically locks up inside the ball of the trailer. Turn the key, slide it in and lock it, pull the key out and walk away. And then the coupler lock itself. With that locked on there and this in place and the stabilizer bars down, makes it really, really hard to steal one of our trailers. Uh, one of the great things about that is, is um, the longer it takes somebody to look at something side they want to steal it, the longer it will take them, they probably won't do it. Uh, people will steal just about anything, but if you can slow them down, it makes them change their mind. That's just a great way to lock your trailer up. Today we're uh, talking about securing a trailer. We're also going to talk about hooking one up. Uh, anytime you hook a trailer up, you want to be very sure that you get it correctly. Uh, you don't want to be going down the road and the trailer come loose. That'd just be really bad. But uh, today we have a, a wide body iron horse that's going to let us hook it up for us. So, uh, very simple, just pick it up, drop it on the ball, uh, lock it down. Always double check, make sure it clamped. Take your safety chains. Always cross mine. Not a lot of people debate about that, but um, the thought theory or process in that is if you cross them, if it does happen to come off the ball, it would hang in the chains and not hit the road. Uh, always use a coupler lock. That keeps it locked on there nice tight, keep it from getting away or spin away the jack. Uh, any trailer that has brakes that has the emergency breakaway system, which is basically if it comes loose, um, it will pull this pin right here out. It will automatically stop the trailer. If by law, it has to be attached to the vehicle and not the trailer or the safety chain. And I always just run mine through the safety hook. Gives a nice carabiner, hook it right back around the cable. Gives you enough slack to move around. Hooking your trailer up correctly is always important um, because if you don't, then you, you could lose or damage or even hurt somebody else. Your lights, uh, whether it's a seven pin or a four pin, the seven pin are simply slide up in. have a locking mechanism, get a little tug, make sure it won't come out. Four pin is easy to slide it up on. Uh, well, we want you to be safe. We want you to have fun and use your trailer. Uh, we want it to work correctly. These are just some tips to help you do that. They're very simple things. Uh, some people grease the ball. I personally don't because every time I walk around my pants leg gets grease on it. Um, you don't have to, but that's your choice. Uh, but just use your trailer. Be safe. Thanks.